For the sign of Taurus, hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, just keep in mind the top cards are paired with the bottom cards. The decks that I use today for this reading, I'll have them listed in the, the description. I pre-shuffled and I'll be using two, two oracle cards for the recent pass. They're the cards to the very far left of your screen. Then I'll go through the present, how your person is seeing you, how you see them, and why this is all happening. So, Taurus, in the recent past, we have unrequited love. Okay, with this card, there probably was not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So you are probably dealing with someone and it wasn't working out because there wasn't there was no magnetism, there was no draw, there was no pull, no attraction, and so that just made the relationship dull. So you probably didn't stay there very long. You probably took to comfort. Now what comfort is about is leaning back into the arms of grace. Let go, then let God. And that's probably what you did after you realized um, the relationship wasn't going to, going to work. Just not enough to keep you there. So those two cards are the recent past. Now let's take a look at the present. We have the Four of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Now with the Four of Wands, it often indicates that you could be attending a special event. Now this special event is going to be way more fun than you're anticipating. So make sure you go and have a good time. Business, if you have your own business, or it could be work, um, it's going to be going very well for you at this time. You'll be proud of yourself and others will notice your hard work and they'll be proud of you too. Although this is a positive card to get in a reading, it shows also a need to keep your wits about yourself. And although you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun at this time, but just know that you're, you're still in a building up phase. And now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. This card can also sometimes mean that you'll be moving your place of residence. Now the Four of Wands, it's um, when you talk about love and relationships, this card, it can indicate that your relationship is about to become a whole lot more committed up to and including possible marriage. So if you are looking for love at this time, it shows that special events, weddings, bar mitzvahs, commitment ceremonies, things of that nature, they're a good place to meet someone new, someone special now. So if you get invited to something like that and you're single, make sure to make it a point to go. The Four of Wands is paired with the Queen of Wands. Now the Queen of Wands, it's about a lot of fiery energy. And this could be a, the person that you're dealing with. It could be someone that you know, that's someone that you work with. But it's a very positive, uplifting energy. Now, this does stand for an actual person in your life. This person is going to be a true blue, a very good friend. Um, they'll be 100% on your side. 
even though this person could seem a bit self-absorbed. Also, if you're trying to give birth, conceive at this time, now is a very positive sign that you could you could do that. The queen, once again, is a very positive woman. It's a positive card in the tarot. Uh, even when it comes to love and relationships. If you're looking for love, this can mean that you'll meet someone suitable through a friend or an acquaintance. You are not probably in the mood to be on your own at this time. So make sure you're getting out, being sociable, trust yourself, and trust in the universe um, to bring you the love and support that you want and need at this time. So those two cards, they are in the present. Now let's take a look and see how the person you're dealing with how they see you. Okay, they see you as a moon card. Um, they see you as having your intuition on point. Uh, they could see you as really psychic. You, you, you're really, you're hitting the nail on the things that you're talking about and what you're thinking. Um, they see that you're trusting your instincts and your impressions. So they know that you know what you're talking about. Okay, and um, there's gonna there's something about they're seeing you as um, the moon card is about deception. So they're seeing you as probably. Uh, maybe someone that they're afraid to trust or they could see you as not trusting enough in the relationship because you're going with they see you as going with your gut instincts okay because you know that your instincts are they're, they're pretty on point so they they're thinking that um, that's what they that's what they're thinking and that's how they see you so, when it comes to the relationship, they're also um, seeing you as highly emotional. Now, if you two are having fights or arguments, they see you as often uh, getting overheated in the conversation, which could make them uncomfortable. So, they... They see you as probably needing to take a break, okay, because you could really get, um, you're probably temperamental. Uh, they don't like when you make assumptions. They, they think that um, you should try to fight fairly. So they also want you to pick your battles and treat your lover, treat them like a friend. So that's what the moon card is about and that's pretty much how they're seeing you and it's paired with the hangman. Now the hangman, it's about letting go, letting go of an unattainable lover perhaps or it could be a situation. Um, it's going to bring out the possibility that someone that you can be with will be there for you but that's only one example now since we're talking about how they see you they see you they're they see you uh, of letting go they see you using those instincts you have and possibly letting go of uh, maybe like I said an unattainable situation or Letting go of the relationship. Because they, I don't know if you told them or not, but um, you probably think there's someone better out there for you. Or you, you already know this. 
Um, but like I said, that's only one example. Okay, they could see you as letting go of something in the relationship also that's unhealthy. Okay, so it could also be uh, let, letting go of a vision of a particular kind of relationship. So they could see you, if you're not letting them go, they could see you as letting go of the way you think a relationship should be. So you're letting go of maybe some old fashioned thoughts of how you thought the relationship work. And um, it's causing you to move the relationship forward. So it could be, it could go a few ways, like I said. But the uh, hangman is about letting go. Now, that's how they see you. Let's take a look at how you see them. We have the Ten of Cups and the Page of Wands. Now, with these two cards, the Ten of Cups, as we all know, is one of the most uplifting cards you can receive in a reading in the tarot. This card, it points to happiness in general, overall, perhaps in a more mature, grown-up, global kind of way, as opposed to the more personal, less global wish fulfillment promised by the Nine of Cups. Either way, it's a good card. The Ten of Cups speaks of a happy family and to the general well-being that goes way beyond you yourself to include those that you're most concerned about, like your parents, siblings, children. Also, being spiritually fulfilled, spiritually fulfilled is a part of the picture with the Ten of Cups. Now, this is a good card to see, like I said, regardless of any question. Also, if you're worrying about a romantic relationship, it's a clear indicator that you really don't have anything to worry about. You and your lover, you're on the same page. If you're in a relationship but have not made it formal yet and hope that it comes to pass, just take heart. It's coming. Don't sabotage things by causing problems where there really aren't any. So you're seeing them as your Ten of Cups. And you see that they're everything you've always wanted. Um, you see them as a friend, as a lover. You see them as a, as everything. You see, the Ten of Cups is the tops. Um, they're the one that you want for sure. So that's how you're seeing them. And since it's paired with a page of wands, you're seeing them as um, coming toward, towards you with messages of love and affection. So you see them as having a lot in common with, you see them as adventuresome, and you're willing to continue to take a chance on them. Yeah, so you you see them in a pretty great way. Like I said, the Ten of Cups is the tops. And um, that's, that's not bad. You're seeing them that way. And let's go ahead and take a look at why it's all happening. Now, why it's all happening is because the Ten of Swords and the Two of Wands. Now, the Two of Swords is a card that signifies a break or need for a break from normal life. Now, this can also mean that you or someone in your life, they may withdraw for a time. Now, keep in mind, this withdrawal is not likely to be permanent it also occasionally could mean illness or time in the hospital or even more rarely, such as maybe time in jail. 
Now, it's a clear signifier that you're going to need to give people their space. You are needing some time and space to yourself. Others may be pushing too hard for bits of your time and attention. Don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other side, when others say no to you, take them at their word because if you push in the circumstance, it's asking for trouble. Now, you may also be feeling a bit disconnected. So, why everything is happening or why all of this is happening is because there's a need for a break. So you and your partner or the person that you're dealing with, it's looking like you need to maybe take a break from each other. It's time for like a mini separation. That's what the Four of Swords is about. A need for some type of withdrawal. Okay, but like I said, it's only for a short period of time. It's not permanent. It's not a permanent withdrawal. It's not a breakup. So, that's why it's happening. So, the Four of Swords is about don't hesitate to take it. Don't hesitate to take that break because it's necessary. And then, we have the Two of Wands paired with the Four of Swords. Okay, now let me explain what the Two of Wands is about. It's about a relationship that's about to get more equal. Especially, you're going to need to pay attention to your ideals about equality and balance and share them. If you're looking for love, someone, if you're not in a relationship, someone uh, who could be very good for you is already likely a part of your life so make sure you're not judging a book by its cover if someone's interested in you give them a chance so that's what the two of wands is about now when we're talking about why this is all happening um, it's because once you take this break or the or the withdrawal okay which is much needed Okay, the relationship is going to, going to become a lot more equal. So, just, um, it's happening because of that. You, you need, plain and simple, you need a break. You, you need some time apart from each other. Like I said, not permanent. Don't say it's, it has to end. It's just about a little time, a little breathing space. That's what they call it. And then with this two of wands, you two come back together in a in a more healthier way. And it becomes a lot more equal in balance once you two come back together. Okay, it'll become a lot more equal. As I explained, that's what the two of wands is. So, Taurus, I hope you enjoy this reading. There's going to be a link below of the extended version of this reading where I'll, I'll go over how you both feel about the situation what's in the near future for you two how you see yourself best case scenario and what's going to happen between the two of you in the new in the next few few weeks